Hads, who are we drawing today? Hermione. Yes. And her pet? Yes. Crookshanks. Yes. <laughs> All right, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. If we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you can pause the video. And we are drawing a cartoon version, kind of like how we did with Harry Potter. And if you haven't seen Harry Potter yet, we'll leave a link so you can go over and watch that video too. Mm -hmm. Ready to start? Yes. Okay, we're first gonna draw Hermione's head and we're gonna draw a U shape. And it's just like Harry Potter. So we're gonna draw a pretty big U shape that goes around and then comes back up like that. You can draw right here, start right here, draw all the way around. We kind of want to draw, um, give her a pretty good size head so that she looks like a cartoon. Yes. And then back up. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, now we're going to draw her eyes. And we're going to draw two big circles so that we can draw uh, really good big eyes. So she looks like a cartoon. <laughs> so two circles and you want them to be the same size too. Good, that's awesome. Oh, I like how hard you're pressing. It makes the marker even squeakier. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw her pupils inside. And so we're gonna draw another circle inside that's pretty big. It's almost close to the, to the big circle we just drew. Good. Really squeaky. Okay, now we're gonna draw the light reflecting uh, on her eyes. So we're gonna draw a big or a little circle on the top right. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna draw her actual pupils, the dark part of her eye. And I like drawing her eyes. We're gonna start maybe drawing cartoons like this a little bit more so that we can color their eyes. So usually we just draw a black circle. And then the inside circle we're gonna color in black. Yeah, good job. Okay, and then we gotta draw those eyelashes, huh? Three eye, three eyelashes in the bottom corner of her eye. There we go. Good job. Okay, now let's draw our little nose. <laughs> okay, and then let's draw her smile. Good. Okay, now let's draw the top of her head. So we're gonna draw a rainbow line or a sur um. Uh, U-shape, an upside down U that completes her head. So we're gonna start there and draw a big rainbow line that goes all the way, connects the top. She looks bald, huh? Oh, I like it. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna connect, we're gonna connect like that for bangs. Good job. And then we can draw uh, lines that come down for hair. And we should probably draw those wiggly because she had curly hair in the first ones, right? Okay. Okay, now we can draw her ears. So let's draw a little C over here and a backward C on this side. Good. Now we're gonna give her long hair, but we're gonna draw that last because it's behind her body. So let's draw her, her scarf, kind of like how we did with Harry Potter, just draw two lines that come out from below her eyes. So like right there and right there, two lines. And then we'll connect them at the bottom. Perfect. And we can connect them at the bottom. There's our scarf. And then we'll draw three diagonal lines on the scarf for the design. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her cloak. So we're going to draw a, curve, a big line, a curve that goes down. And we're going to draw it kind of far so that she has a tall body. Good. And one on the other side. Okay, now let's draw her hair so she looks more like Hermione. So we're <laughs> gonna draw a wavy line that comes out on the side like this, and one on the other side, wavy line. Yes. Good. And then we can do another wavy line that's down here on the bottom that connects into her body. <laughs> Good. And then let's add some more waves inside of her hair. And we should have done that with, with this hair up here. We should have done a little wavy line. So I can kind of go back over it and make a little wavy if we want. There we go. And then we're going to do wavy lines over here on this side. Good. That looks cute. 
And then some on the other side. Yeah. Just like that. Good. Good. Okay, now let's draw her body. So we're going to have her holding a book. So let's draw her arms coming in the side like this. So we're going to draw two lines that come in. Good. And then let's draw another one lower down here. The same length. And then we'll connect them. Both sides. Good. And then let's draw a little U right here for one hand and a little U over here for the other hand. Or C shape. Sorry. Backward C and a frontward C. Okay. U on its side. Okay. Now let's draw the book. So we're going to draw two lines. One each coming out of each hand. Good. And then we're going to draw the line coming out the bottom of her hand. Good. And then let's connect the top and the bottom. And she's got a book. That's pretty easy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's draw diagonal lines on the side for the corners, for the corner of the book. It looks like a wizard in magic book. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's draw her cloak. So let's draw two lines that come out of the book and connect to her scarf. Now let's draw the lines coming through the book. And we're, so we're going to imagine the same line going through the book and coming out the bottom. And the same on the other side, coming out the bottom. And I drew these two lines a little longer than the outside lines. Good. So we'll draw those a little bit longer. So we'll draw that and have it come down here. And this one maybe down here. Good. Perfect. And then let's connect those lines at the bottom. There's her cloak. Good. Okay. So let's give the cloak a collar. So two diagonal lines up at the top. And then let's give her a tie. She, she wore a tie. And, oh, let's do a little V right here first for the sweater. So I forgot. Let's do a little V. If you can fit it, let's, you can connect it right there, there, and then back up. Yeah, she had a little tie. She wore a tie, even though she was a girl, huh? Mm -hmm. She had a uh, tie, and that was their uniform for the school. That's her tie. And then let's do one diagonal line on her tie. Good. Okay, now down here at the bottom, let's get, she had a, a skirt. So let's draw a line down here at the bottom. And then we can draw little lines up and down for the texture that was on her skirt. <laughs> Good job. We're almost done. What is she missing? Her legs. Yes, her legs. So let's draw two lines that come out of the bottom of her, two lines on each side for her legs. Good. And then let's connect the bottom. Good. And then we'll put one line up here for her socks. And then let's draw a kind of a diagonal U for her shoes. Good. And then you can put, there you go. And then you can put another smaller U in there for her sandals. Her, yes. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her pet. What was his name again? Crookshanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're, let's draw. Uh, let's draw a circle over here. This is gonna be for Crookshanks' head. Good. And then let's draw two lines that come out. And these lines we want to line up at the bottom of her feet. So it looks like he's sitting on the same ground. Good. One on the other side, and then we'll connect the bottom. And then we're going to do a U, two U's inside. Good. And then let's do one U on the outside. Kind of looks like an M, huh? Mm -hmm. That's for his back feet. And then we'll connect the bottoms. Bottom of the feet. Good. All right, now let's draw Crookshank's eyes. So we can do a big circle. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a little circle inside and color that in. 
There we go, like that. <laughs> Good. All right, it doesn't really look like a cat, huh? Yeah. Let's draw the nose, so a little line and then a V. And then we can do a frontwards J and a backwards J. And there's the mouth. And then let's do an A shape for the ears. Now it looks like a cat. And then it needs a tail. A tail. So we'll, we'll draw a little banana shape coming out the side. Banana shape. <laughs> yeah, and then connect it. Good, we did it, Hads. All right, we need a colorer though. Yes. Let's pick out the colors and we'll come back. Okay. okay, we're gonna be using the same pastels we used with Harry Potter. It's the Crayola brand and it's this 28 set. They're easy to pick up from Target or any store that has a Crayola section. They usually carry the oil pastels. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use a light orange and a dark orange, gray, red, brown, black, and peach. You know what? And we're also gonna use a pink. Yay! <laughs> Where's pink? Uh, right there. Oh. And then we're going to fast forward this part because we're not going to do any shading or blending. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Let's do it right... There. Good job. You did awesome. Okay, the last step we're going to get our pink because she's outside and kind of cold. So we're going to give her rosy cheeks. A little pink on her cheeks and then also on her nose and the one thing you got to remember with oil pastels is you want to make sure that you blow the shavings off into a garbage not onto the floor mm -hmm. because then it will get in the carpet mom and dad won't be happy with that will they yeah yeah <laughs> well you did awesome hads i really like how well she turned out you did a great job on coloring and you guys at home can pause the video right now and then match what we did did you have fun yes give me five what was your favorite part? The cat. Yes, I really like how you colored the ears pink. Good job. <laughs> Remember, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun. We hope you guys had a lot of fun. We'll see you later. Goodbye, our friends. Bye. Are you subscribing?